Verbeck here. That is a severe thunderstorm. This time on Tornado Titans. We need these cell mergers to happen today. We need uh, storms to be able to merge with each other so they can grow. That's when they're gonna have the best tornado potential, so. Well, yesterday was absolutely amazing uh, from a storm chase perspective. We really uh, knocked it out of the park. Today, headed to a boundary intersection here in South Central Oklahoma. And uh, the hope is, is that we will get a good storm uh, down here. Shear's very weak. Uh, don't plan on staying too long uh, with it. Uh, I'm just basically going to stay on it just long enough to see if this, uh, if you can get a quick supercell and spin up, uh, then I'm headed back west. So it's very quick storm chase today, I think. We're looking down the road right here. Got a little bit of scud rising into that base. Nice little rounded shape to that. Had a big push up with this updraft right here. So this storm is trying its very best to get interesting. Uh, I'm really tired, <laughs> but this one would be the one. So, I mean, we'll watch this one out here. Watch that scud coming up. Maybe a wall cloud, got a little bit of inflow tail. You can tell it's spinning all the way up. So, I mean, this is what we come out here for, right? Storms today are struggling. Despite many favorable ingredients, every storm is really small, which is concerning to the team. The storms seem to be struggling with dry air above the surface, which is preventing the storm towers from growing big. And the weak wind shear is not allowing storms to last as long as they might otherwise. Well, time lapsing that thing right there. Another. Another dying LP supercell. It's been a lot of those this day. Uh, time lapsing that for about three or four minutes. Once I'm done with that, there's a storm right there on the way home. We're gonna check that one out. Outside of those, we're done. For the team, this day had some limited potential that has obviously not been realized. Every storm is struggling in their target area. It will be a few days before Rachel and the Titans return to the field for more chasing. Well, welcome to Eastern New Mexico today. Well, it's kind of soupy, it's kind of a mess. It's not looking too great for supercells. Wasn't expecting them, but you got storms literally. Like, look at that. We're at along I-40, but we got storms everywhere. So expected all these to eventually congeal. I just saw a lightning strike. Eventually expecting these to congeal into a line. Marginally severe, gonna march east. This is good material for Titan U. That's why we're out here on tomorrow maybe supercell, so this will be a fun chase trip. Let's get started. Today is a day the team is only expecting outflow-driven structure, but even days like today are important for the Tornado Titans education mission. Every storm has something to teach. Flow winds still, 30, 40 miles an hour, not nearly severe. You see, been some dust kicked up right over there. Waving wheat. There's our storm. See, it's got a little eddy there on the edge of the outflow, so it's pretty cool. So, we're gonna keep getting east. <laughs> the team has spotted something curious to the east, multiple rapidly growing and expanding storm towers. These are forming in an environment that would support supercells. It's going to take a bit, but the team might just strike gold today after all. Okay, oh, looking at this supercell right out there. Look at that thing, Got a, almost looks like an RFD cut. It's going into the base right now, which is pretty high base though, so. I don't think I'm worried about a tornado just yet. Man, but we got storms just like there's one forming up oh, lightning right there. We got this thing right here. Look at that thing. Big boomer, that thing's just right there. And we got this thing over here actually trying to develop a wall cloud. It's been lifting up scud quite consistently. Gonna switch over to that on the lens here in a second. But yeah, I mean, I need to like do better with this. This is terrible. That one over there has got a wall cloud though. So. There's storms everywhere, storms in every direction right now. Pretty fortunate location to be in, I could say. Uh, we've got the 360 cam though, that's why we have this. It's capturing it all. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I'm gonna get this wall cloud. I'm gonna have to switch the time lapse over, get a new lens on it. The storm with a wall cloud is continuing to strengthen. It's time to give chase. The team is threading the needle between two severe storms. On the right, 
a storm with very big hail. On the left, a strengthening supercell with a rain-free base. You still have this out here. Woo. Get underneath the car. The storm on the right has begun to approach the Titan's position. This storm is packing hail of over golf ball size. It's time to move south to clear air. The structure of the storm the Titans have been chasing has rapidly improved. The show is about to begin. All right, look at this right behind me. My goodness, look at that. Me. Messy line today. We're going to get some great stuff. Also me. Well, there's a supercell. <laughs> you can see actually big RFD cut coming into the base right now. A uh, separate storm on the backside is cutting in. So this thing actually could make a run at producing a tornado again in the next little bit, uh, to be sure. But, you know, pretty good structure at the very least. That's not bad. 360 cams on it. That camera's on it. That camera's on it. Heck, I even got a second 360 cam on it. We got to make sure we got this storm covered from all angles. And yeah, this thing right back here is putting out a lot of electricity too. So this is a, this is a day I wish I had like multiple cameras actually on this stuff. As the surface layer begins to cool in the evening, storms oftentimes become rooted above the surface layer. This is exactly what is happening all around the team as the day fades into night. Lots of lightning, uh, time lapsing a new storm. That's actually kind of getting stronger. This one is the one we've been on. Uh, it's not, it's not quite there anymore. It's definitely getting weaker. I need to look, but I think that one's like on the way out. It's this one right here. There's actually a big uh, blocky wall cloud on it too. So gonna watch it gonna drive south here in a bit stay ahead of it and see uh just gonna you know we're gonna watch it we're gonna try to stay ahead of it and see what it does yeah this is really cool it's cool to uh be out here enjoying a beautiful night on the prairie Magnificent.